So in these next few videos, I'm just going to show you a couple of the most common types of validation checks you might want to do on your inputs. So let's take, for example, a straightforward one is a presence check. So when you ask the user for something like name, this is just checking that they've actually entered something. So um, enter name. So what you can do here is you can put while, because we don't know how many times it's going to take them to get this right. So while the length of name is equal to zero, we want to ask them to put their name in again. But we're probably going to change the message slightly. So we'll say again, and we're going to print out a message you didn't enter a name. So what this is saying is while the length of name is equal to zero, tell them they didn't enter a name and ask again. So before I run this actually to show you, we need to print here code continues. So obviously that's proven it's breaking out of this while loop. So when I run it, if I enter nothing, it's just going to forever ask me to enter names. If I enter something, anything, it now says code continues and it carries on. So this is a very simple way of validating an input to check they've actually inputted some data. Because if you don't do something like this, this can be a very quick way of breaking your code if the user accidentally presses the enter button without typing something in.